Yes, who are you? Uh, Jarvis, sir. Now, what is it you do? I am the butler. Oh, the butler, yes, yes, yes. Can you tell me where you were on the night of the kidnapping? Asleep in my room, sir. Asleep in your room. Can you prove that? No. Make a note of that, Sergeant Jard. Tell the staff to assemble in the drawing room. I will uh, interview them in a few moments. Sure. <clears throat> Who was your name again? Uh, Jarvis. Jarvis, that's right. Now, perhaps you'll be kind enough to show me around the house. Oh, very good, sir. Oh. I suggest we start with the upstairs. Uh, this is the upstairs, sir. Yes, I know that. I know that. This is a door. Uh, yes, sir, that is a door. Yes, I know that, I know that. It's not locked, sir. Obviously. Stay where you are. I prefer to handle this alone. Is there anybody hiding there in the dark? Nothing like a good warm-up when you're on a case, you know? Tell me, which switch did you use to turn on the lads? The light switch, sir. Yeah. Strange, it didn't work for me. Ah. Yes. Unless I miss my guess, this would be the uh, gymnasium room, eh? Huh? I guess, sir. Yes. It is a good room. Yes. Ah, this reminds me of my younger days at the Sûreté Peace Academy. The parallel bars, my speciality. I was something of an athlete, you know. Yes, yes. I was known as the Pavlova of the parallels. Oh, yes. Yes, it's all coming back now. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember. <laughs> Yes, I know, I know. Now, um, yes, as I was saying, um... You were saying you supposed we were all uh, wondering, wondering if why you called us Look, here. there is no need for you to speak unless I ask you a question. What is your name? I'm Shork, the gardener. And what is it you do? I'm the gardener. Then why didn't you say that to me in the first place? I did. Look, don't try to be funny with me, monsieur. This is a very serious matter. And everyone in this room is under the suspicions. Room? What? What was that? You said room. Yes, I know that. And there is a very good chance that someone in this room knows more about the murder than he is telling. Murder? What was that you said? I said murder. What murder? 
What will I do? I don't know if you said murder. I said murder. You said murder. No, I said murder because you said murder. I said murder. You said there was someone in this room who knew more about the murder than he's telling. Now listen. What was your name? Shock. The cook. Gardener. Ah! Now we are getting somewhere. You! Oh, dear. <laughs> are you all right, Mr. Stutterstuff? Uh, who is this man? He's Mr. Stutterstuff. I see him. What is your job, Mr. Stutterstuff? He's the beekeeper. I'm not asking you. I'm asking you, Mr. Stuffsucker. What's that? What is he saying to you? What? What, what was that? He, he says he's got a bit of a cold and he's lost his voice. Lost his voice. A beekeeper who has lost his voice, a cook who thinks he's a gardener, and a witness to a murder. Oh, yes. It is obvious to my trained eye that there is much more going on here than meets the ear. Before you are dismissed, Mr. Stiff Sticker, I suggest you count your bees. You may find that one of them is missing. You ruined that piano. What is the price of one piano compared to the terrible crime that has been committed here? But that's a priceless Steinway. Not anymore. What is your name? Mrs. Lever, Lily. Mrs. Love Lever, I would take a shrewd guess that you are the housekeeper, am I right? I have been with Professor Fassbender for 30 years. That would account for your exaggerated hysteria over a simple blemish on the furniture. Blemish? Whatever has happened to the piano can easily be repaired. What has happened to Professor Fassbender and his daughter is another matter. And it is my job to bring the guilty party or parties to the justice. Now then, what do we know? One, that Professor Fassbender and his daughter have been kidnapped. Two, that someone has kidnapped them. Three, that my hand is on fire. Hello, Drummond. What's going on? Oh, uh, good afternoon, sir. Huh? Uh, uh, Inspector Clouseau has been uh, ah. interrogating the staff. Uh, Inspector Clouseau, uh, Superintendent Quinlan. Oh, it's better. Uh, Superintendent. Just tell Paris that he's incompetent and request that he be taken off the case. <laughs> of course. I've got enough trouble with France without suggesting that the great detective is a fool. Steady. 